It is just the latest scene of bullets flying outside a troubled downtown St. Louis club. And tonight, breaking news on that club's future, the city making a punishing move. In just the last few minutes, News 4 confirming that the city of St. Louis has suspended the Rain Nightclub's liquor license. Now, News 4 has been investigating the crime and public safety concerns surrounding Rain. Our Caroline Hecker joins us there live from that club on Wash Ave. Now, Caroline, it's Friday night, so what does this ruling mean for business tonight? Well, Paige, we've just learned within the last couple of minutes that that suspension will run through September 27th, but I'm also told that city officials are deciding right now as we speak what that means as it pertains to tonight here at Rain. Now, that decision came after more than four hours of deliberation by city officials, and all day they heard testimony from two police detectives here in downtown St. Louis, as well as two liquor inspectors. But it was surveillance video of a shooting from December of 2020 that proved most contentious for those involved today. We want to show you that video. According to police, this is two groups of men that were seen arguing outside of Rain's front door again last December. Now, after a little bit, at one point, those two groups of men start shooting at each other. And in that video, you can see a man in a white shirt start shooting. He eventually falls to the ground, continuing to shoot. And you hear the return fire in that video as well. After a couple of minutes, he is dragged back indoors into that front door of rain by a security guard. Now the attorney for rain contends that that entire altercation started much farther down West a or Washington Avenue and that it ultimately just happened to end up in front of rain's doorstep. But police contend this is just one of many shootings they've had to respond to here at rain in the last year. Moving on further into the testimony, they showed more surveillance video of a different shooting just this past August. It's indoor video. You see in that video a man appear to be kicked out of the club by security officers and it's a couple of seconds after he is appears to be kicked out that those inside start running and ducking for cover as police say they were able to hear gunfire that was taking place outside. Lastly today we heard testimony from two liquor inspectors who claim they were prevented from going inside rain last May by two security guards while responding to a complaint. When we first went to the door, the door was locked, but we saw several patrons inside. I placed my shield and knocked on the door and told them that we needed to come in. There were several employees that were standing inside of the Vesta view just looking at us, and we asked for a manager. And um, they just kept looking at us. Now, after about 20 minutes, that liquor inspector went on to say that she eventually was let in and spoke to the owner about the reason that they were there. All in all, the attorney for Rain today contending that much of the violence, including the shootings that take place here on Washington Avenue outside of Rain, are not the result of its patrons, but bad actors, he says, that come from different areas and end up congregating outside of his client's business. But again, police contending that the vast majority of shootings and noise complaints that they have to respond to here on Washington Avenue are a result of rain. Again, that liquor license suspension running through September 27th. And right now, city officials are trying to decide what that means for rain tonight. We're live in downtown St. Louis. Caroline Hecker, News 4.